The NRL 22 is a great discipline because it introduces people not familiar with precision rifle shooting into this type of competition. And people who look at NRL 22 and see how it's shot and see what rifles it can use will often just bring whatever rimfire gun that they already own. And the most one of the more common guns that we see brought in by new shooters is the Ruger 1022. It's a very common rifle, very popular in the United States. I've had one for 20 plus years and it's um, I know of other people their first room fire gun was a Ruger 1022. That being said, it's important to understand the procedures and the cadences that are followed during a stage of fire at an NRL 22 match. If you're not familiar with uh, a typical stage of fire or during a course during the uh, NRL 22 course of fire, uh, you'll often move positions. You may shoot a few rounds prone, move to another position like the top of the sawhorse and shoot off the sawhorse a couple rounds, and then move to another position, say back to prone. During that time, with a bolt rifle, you're required to leave the bolt open until you get in position on target, close the bolt, fire, open the bolt. Then when you're gonna move positions, keep, leave the bolt open. Once you establish your position on target, close the bolt and you can fire. With a semi-auto, obviously you can't do that. When you fire around, the bolt's gonna automatically close because it's a semi-auto. You're not, we're not gonna ask you to open the bolt when you move positions. What we will ask you to do is engage the safety before you have to move your position and verbally yell safe or audibly say safe such that the stage director or, or whoever is monitoring you during that stage of fire can hear you and see you engage that safety. Then when you get into that position on target, you may disengage your safety, fire your rounds and continue on. Again, if it requires you to move from that position, engage the safety, audibly say safe, continue. Um, so I'll go ahead and just quickly demonstrate this. We'll start with the open bolt. My safety is on. Let me get this in here. I'm going to insert the magazine because typically we'll start port arms. Um, the stage stages of fire will vary um, from from uh, match to match, but typically we'll start standing, mag in, action open, safety on this one has to be engaged. Um, stage director, we'll just for the for the sake of de um, demonstration, I'll fire two rounds prone. Two rounds sawhorse, two rounds prone. We'll just stop it there, it's just so I can show you the uh, the cadence. So the stage stage director will yell or will tell me, um, "Do you understand the course fire? Uh, shooter ready, spotter ready, stand by." People go off. You can be begin. I'll get in position. Get on, get on target. I'll get on target. Close my bolt. Disengage the safety. Fire my two rounds. Engage safety, and I'll call it safe. Safe. I'll begin movement. I'm gonna to go to the top of the sawhorse as the course of fire or the stage of fire tells me to. Get on target. Once I establish my position, disengage the safety, fire two rounds. Engage safety, safe. Begin my movements. Get back down and prone. Get on target, disengage my safety, fire my two rounds. And then continue however the stage of fire requires of me to continue. But it's very important, engage your safety, call out safe. Common, common mistakes I see often, and we'll warn you, if we see new shooters do this, we'll give you ample warnings, but we'll keep an eye on you. You do enough times as a new shooter, we'll just have to DQ you from that stage, continue to do that, we'll DQ you from the match. But that being said, one of the most common mistakes I see is people shooting the round, you know, then beginning to move, not engaging safety and just not engaging the safety and moving. That's an, you know, that's a technically stage DQ. Uh, another common thing I people see people do is they'll get up or they'll, they'll engage safety, yell out safe, get into position or they'll move. Then while they're getting in position, they'll, they'll take the safety off. It's also a DQ. Do not do that. Same reason why with a bolt rifle, you do not close the bolt to your position and on target is the reason why you keep your safety on till you're on target and in position. Then you can disengage the safety. It's just like closing the bolt in the bolt rifle. Uh, another mistake I see people do is they'll, they'll call out safe, but they don't, they don't engage the safety. That's also a no-no and vice versa. People who will, which is less of a no-no, people who engage the safety, but don't say anything. Please yell safe. It's just part of the procedure. Anyway, 
that's kind of the basics for using a semi-auto or operating a semi-automatic rifle in NRL 22 stages of fire. During our matches at the West End Gun Club, on, during the safety brief, we always tell people, even if it's all experienced shooters, we go through it every time, how to run through a stage of fire, bolt open or safety on, yell out safe for semi-auto. If you have any questions on this, please feel free to post them in the comments and I'll answer those as best I can.